a previous video about starting an onion garden I was busting up the soil with this thing that I thought was a weed whacker weed puller but I'm not sure I think it's actually for manually breaking up the ground it's called a hound dog <laughs> I can't step in here because I'm stepping on my newly planted onion hopefully you can see that hound dog okay so that's how I broke up the soil and then there's this thing, garden weasel. It's got these four tines. Well, actually, no, there's, there's three of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Each one has two. And as it turns, that breaks the soil up even finer. And these things work better when they're clean. I haven't had a chance to clean it with all the rain. It's been hard to keep anything clean. You can take the center one out if you want. I'm not going to do it, but you can take that center one out. You can take any one of them out. You can have one, you can have two, you can have all three. So that's how I got the soil broke up and loosened in the previous video. But now I got my little mini rolling tool. Now let's see how this works. Hopefully much better.
wants to work out for a crippled up old man too. Well, look how fine that soil is. Yeah, that's good. So, for somebody in good shape, younger, that don't have the health problems I have, this probably be really easy. I've got a bone spur on my tailbone, I've got herniated discs, i got discs that have no cushions between them anymore. So, most people can't even get up off the couch with the problems I have unless they have medication. I'm not even on medication. That's a whole different story as personal life issues, but I like this little cultivator. Works really good. I'll probably do a further in-depth review on the cultivator itself and all capabilities that it has in a different video but for right now uh, I gotta come out here and get the camera. Looks like I might have to do some cutting and editing. So what good is a mini rototiller if it can't break ground and you can't use it for large gardens? Surprisingly, you can do a lot with these and you really need one. I wish I would have had one years ago when I first got my rototiller. So, some models can actually break through hardened ground. This one can do it. And I didn't even reverse the blades. The blades on here can be reversed for, I guess, uh, breaking up the ground better. I don't know. I haven't read through the owner's manual yet. But... You've seen that at work in the onion garden and I used it in the old existing herb garden to clear out stuff around the oregano which I'll be transplanting and that was hard compressed ground with tall thick grass like this. And I'm impressed, it did a pretty good job. Another reason why you definitely want and need a cultivator is for getting in between and around plants. This is my little corn garden. And you can see it's where the rows of the corn are, there's still weeds in there, that's all gonna have to be hand picked. I don't use any kind of chemicals. But in between the rows, it did a good job. You can leave all four of the tiller tines on there for a 10 inch wide cultivation. And that's actually what those little mini tillers are. They're cultivators, they're not rototillers. But leave all four tines on and you get a 10 inch width. Take two of them off and you get a, a six inch. A six inch width so it's great for getting in and around plants to eliminate weeds Whew, man this old man's still out of breath from this stuff <laughs> uh, it's just um, a little bit of info on what you can do with a cultivator you could use it to rototill big sections of garden but it's going to take you a long time and it's going to be a major workout it's a lot easier to use actual full-size rototiller for doing that kind of stuff the little things like this getting rid of weeds around plants i think that's how i'm going to do it from now on seems to be a lot better as long as you get the weeds rototilled and the grass before it goes to seed you can just leave it there the sun will hit it dry it out kill it cultivate it rototill it whatever back into the soil and that will build up the soil because that will be a type of mulch also it's an organic mulch you use the mulch that comes from your yard and every now and then you see the camera shake <laughs> that's from using that rototiller it's it's a workout you use that thing for about an hour and then you go to scratch your nose or something and as you're lifting your arm up your arm and hand is shaking it doesn't really vibrate much it vibrates a little but 
I didn't notice any significant vibrations to complain about. So I don't know if it's just this model or if it's all cultivators in general, but um, this one works great. I've heard these things aren't meant to break hard, compact soil. And this one did it. So this is the Earthquake 4 cycle uh, 40cc model MC440 cultivator. Put in engine oil in the engine, straight gas in the gas tank. No mixing of oil with the gas like the two cycle version that seems to be more popular. I don't know why. But I prefer the four cycle over the two cycle. I wanted to get a Mantis, but there was none available. So I went with the next most popular brand with the highest reviews, and that was the Earthquake. So would I recommend this one? So far, yeah, absolutely. Seems like a good cultivator.